Hello and welcome to English Learning Hub. English Listening Test. Designed for A2 learners. This test consists of 30 questions which are divided into six parts. I will give you a short instruction at the beginning of each part. Before we get started, take a pen and paper so you can take notes while listening. Are you ready? Let's get started. Part 1. Listen to two people at a portrait gallery. These are great pictures. Yeah. My photos aren't as good as these. That's the Jamaican runner. He won lots of medals at the Olympics. What's his name? It's Usain Bolt. And that one's the American swimmer. Ah. Uh, Michael Phelps. Oh, and look! There's Eddie Edwards, he was a British Olympic skier. Who's this woman? That's Ellen MacArthur. She sailed around the world and broke the world record in 2005. Who did she sail with? She didn't go with anyone, she sailed alone. That's a photo of her on her boat in Australia. Wow! It's a great boat! And here's another picture of her in France. Is she Australian or French? No, she was born in the north of England. I read a book about her a few weeks ago, she's a really interesting person. She was only four when she started sailing, and she sailed around Britain in a boat called Iduna when she was a teenager. She won lots of races, but she retired in 2010. What does she do now? I don't know, I didn't finish the book. Choose the correct option. Part 2. Listen to 5 conversations and take notes. I called you on Saturday but you weren't at home. No, I went out with Mary and her sister. Where did you go? Well, we wanted to try that new French restaurant in town, but it was closed. So we had a burger and went to see the new Brad Pitt movie. It was really good. How did you meet your husband Sarah? Oh, I met Peter when I was a student. I was bored one weekend, so I decided to go home and see my family. I didn't have enough money to fly so I took the bus. Peter had the seat next to me and we started chatting. The rest, as they say, is history. Where are you working now? At the train station. I'm in the ticket office. Do you like it? It's not too bad, but I preferred my old job. Why did you leave? The owner of the restaurant decided to retire. What are you looking for? My cell phone. I can't find it anywhere. I had it when I left the football game because I called David on my way to the cafe. Oh, no. I put it on the table in the cafe and I forgot to pick it up when I left. Did you see the game last night? Only the first half. 
Linda wasn't at home so I had to cook dinner for the kids. Then I had to help them with their homework. Don't worry. It wasn't a very good game. Choose the correct option. Part 3. Listen to a police officer interviewing a woman about a robbery. Please sit down Mrs. Davis. As you know, I'm here to ask questions about the robbery. What happened? Well, yesterday, at about 3 o'clock, two men came to my house. One was tall and blonde, with a mustache, about 30 years old, and the other was quite short with dark hair. He was probably about 20. And what happened? They said they were from the water company and that they wanted to check the quality of the water of all the houses on the street. Did you ask for identification? Yes, I did, and they showed me their ID cards. They seemed okay. What happened next? I went into the kitchen and the tall man followed me. He was there for about five minutes. Where was the other man? Well, I thought he was outside because he opened and closed the front door. The tall man didn't stay long. But after they left, I looked in my bag and my wallet wasn't there. How much money did you have? I think I had about $50. Did they take your credit cards? No, they didn't. They were in another bag. Did they take anything else? I don't think so. Okay, well, thank you very much Mrs. Davis. Choose the correct answer. Part 4. Listen to five people talking about where they live and take notes. Well, I have two homes. I have a big apartment in the center of Paris and a little cottage in the south of the country. I live and work in the city, and I go to my cottage for holidays. It's very small, just a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom. But it's a great place to relax. 
It's next to the sea and there aren't any noisy neighbors. I bought this apartment because it's across from the hospital so I can walk to work. There are five rooms, a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, a study, and a bedroom. I love the living room because it has a great view of the city. Oh, and another good thing about my apartment is the garage because it's really difficult to park on the street here. When I was a child, my parents had a big old house in Connecticut. There were six rooms downstairs and eight bedrooms upstairs, but only two bathrooms. And it was always really cold, there was no central heating system, and the fireplaces weren't very good. Well, this is Browning Street, but I don't know which house is Anna's. I can't remember the number, it's four or five. And is the door blue or green? Okay, well, this is number four and the door is red. Let's try number five that has a green door. Okay. Lisa, Jennifer. Hello, you're late. Come on in. My favorite room? Hmm, that's difficult. I like all the rooms in my house. The bathroom is lovely because it's really clean and modern. And I love relaxing in the living room. I bought some really comfortable armchairs. But I think my favorite is the kitchen. It has a big table and it's really nice to sit in there and have meals with all the family. We have a dining room but we hardly ever use that. Choose the correct answer. Part 5. Listen to two friends doing a magazine quiz and take notes. What's that? One of your magazines. Oh, let's do this food quiz. Okay. Fruit juice is better for you than milk. True or false? That's true, because milk has more calories. Fruit juice is better. You're wrong. Fruit juice is bad for your teeth and there's more sugar in it. Next question. People in Canada have a healthier diet than people in the US. True or false? There isn't any difference. People eat the same things in Canada and the US. No. In Canada people eat more fruit and vegetables so they get more vitamins and in the US they have more salt in their diets and salt is really bad for you. Oh dear. I love salty food. Next question. You eat more in winter. True or false? True. I eat when I'm cold and I always put on 5 or 10 pounds during winter. Well, it says here that you don't eat more in winter, but you don't go out much when the weather's cold. People are heavier in winter because they don't exercise. Ask me another. True or false? Short fat french fries are better than long thin french fries. Of course, they are. They're much tastier. I mean, they're better for your health. Yes, I know you're talking about health. And the answer is it's true because long thin fries have more oil on them. Correct. How much longer is this quiz? I'm hungry. This is the final question. Chocolate is good for you. Well, I love chocolate, but I don't think it's good for my health. There's a lot of sugar in it and a lot of calories. 
Yes, but the magazine says that some scientists found out that eating a little chocolate each day helps people to relax and feel happier. Where are you going? To the kitchen to get a bar of chocolate. I want to find out if the scientists are right. Choose the correct option. Part 6. Listen to 5 conversations at a dinner party. Hi Mary. Hi, Sarah. Go through into the living room. Tom and Daniel are in there. They arrived a few minutes ago. These are for you. Oh, they're lovely. Thanks a lot. Hi, you too. This soup is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, it's very easy to make. You only need onions, olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little cream to put on top. You can add some chicken as well, but I didn't put any in today. You're a great cook, Mary. What are we having after the soup? Wait and see. Here's the main course. Jamaican chicken and rice, my grandmother was born in Jamaica, and she taught me how to make this when I was a child. It's really good. I agree. The meat is very tasty. Well, enjoy it. There's lots more rice if you want, but only a little chicken. Would you like some more water, Sarah? Yes, please. I'm really thirsty. Tom? More water? Oh, is there any cola? Yes, there's some in the fridge in the kitchen. Daniel? No, I'm fine, thanks. There's ice cream or chocolate cake and whipped cream for dessert. Ooh, chocolate cake for me, but only a little cream with it. The ice cream for me, please. What about you, Tom? Nothing for me, thanks. I can't eat anymore. Can I have a glass of water? Choose the correct answer. Don't forget to share your score in the comments section. 
We will upload more listening tests for next levels very soon, so stay tuned. See you in the next videos.